Welcome back to this video. In this video we will see SNMP also known as Simple Network Management Protocol. So what is this? What is the use? This protocol is used to manage and monitor the networking devices in the network. So if an administrator wants to monitor uh, devices, CPU utilization, memory utilization, interface status, like link availability. Uh, you'll get all this information using this protocol SNMP. So the administrator can monitor everything to check everything is working okay, you know. So to see the status of the interfaces, things like that, you can use this SNMP it itself says management protocol so uh, administrators use this to manage and also monitor the devices in the network so we'll see how to configure this very simple some basic commands we need to provide so the way this works the administrator will use a server in this case and will make this server as the manager so what this means, the manager will request anything he wants and it will the request will go here to the agent. There is an agent in between the device and the manager. Whatever this manager wants, he will tell the agent. Agent will perform the action for the manager. Okay. So one example, if the manager wants to see the router name okay check the router name information only then the request will go to the agent agent will provide that information back but in this case we just need to provide the read permission only because we are not changing anything on this router in this device right we are just getting the router name which means we only need to provide read permission in this case but if the manager wants to change change the router name then we need to provide read and write permission read and write permission so this would be the requirements I like to show you in this example we'll see how to configure this so number one requirement is get the router from uh, SNMP server so the uh, router information I should say okay so like the router name right then only we can change the router name from the server so this server needs to know uh, the router information so what's the current name okay that's what we are getting here uh, so the request will go to the agent agent will provide it back to the the manager but we are only needing write information because we are not editing anything. We are not editing anything over there. So we just need to provide the write only permission. Number two, change the router name from the server or this manager. So in this scenario, we would need both read and write because we need to edit it. We need to edit the a router name to something else so this would be the two examples we'll see today so let's see how to configure that so the configuration here I'll show you uh, there are only actually two steps so we need to uh, get the router information and provide it back to the manager right for that we need to say SNMP server and then this SNMB version 2 we are using here and version 2 uses community strings that's why I put community here because in packet tracer SNMB version 3 is not supported these routers are not supported therefore I cannot uh, show you in SNMB version 3 but in today's world SNMB version 3 is the latest and we should use SNMB version 3 because it's more secure it's got the hashing capability which means uh, we can encrypt everything 
it uses something called advanced encryption standard otherwise known as AES which has the option of 128 bits 192 bits and 256 bits so this is the most secured way we use today but unfortunately in packet tracer uh, it's not supported so I just show you SNMB version 2 and SNMB version 2 uses this community string so I'll just put this community and I need to provide the password so I'll just make something up there and then I need to provide read or write so in the first requirement it's only read so I just provide read and number two again same step almost SNMP server community provide a password then this second requirement needs uh, write uh, permission also I'll just put read and write RW that's it and then we'll go to this manager and we'll get the router information and because we got the router information we'll be able to change the router name from the server we will change this router name from this server using this protocol okay so this is what we are going to see and let's have to configure that So first of all, let me show you one more thing. First of all, we will need to go to the router and we need to set the read and write permission. Okay, that would be the first two steps. Uh, basically this here. Okay, so that when the manager requests uh, information, uh, the router know exactly what to do. So to get the router information from the SNMP server, only provide uh, read permission and to change the router name from the server then read and write so let's do that first let me first verify if it's pinging ping 192.168.1.10 i'm pinging the manager or the server and it is pinging it's fine so we we'll go to configuration terminal and we need to say SNMP server community and if I put a question mark it needs a string so we'll just say Cisco123 okay this is a string and if I put a question mark it needs read or write so this one is read only read only means ro we need to put right this first one ro so we just say ro if i put a question mark and that's it this is the first requirement we have just completed to get the router information uh, from the server uh, this message just means agent is now awake it is now ready to provide the information to the manager okay that's all it means router is undergoing a warm start so number two change the router name from the server but we are not ready to do that in order to do that we need to set this string here and provide read and write permission so we need to say SNMP server community uh, this time string uh, we can provide uh, CCNA123 okay we can provide uh, the same if, if we want let's provide the same or we can do separate but let's do Cisco123 okay and here we need to provide this read and write because the manager needs to change the router name so that's why we are giving this permission okay read and write and that's it this is the only configuration we need to do on this router now what we'll do we we'll go to the manager go to desktop in packet tracer there is something this option called uh, uh, MIB browser this one okay you need to click there and we need to click on this advanced and here we need to provide the address of the router so what's the address 
one dot one right yeah one dot one we need to provide here and don't mess with this just leave it as it is read community so this read community just means the string we need to provide it here so we just need to put Cisco whatever the string we used okay so in this lab I use Cisco 123 for both read and write Cisco 123 now the version we are using 2 we should be using 3 but it's not supported so 2 now just press OK now we should see the router because we have provided all the information of this router into this uh, manager so to do that we need to expand each one until we see system so let's expand the first one then this router uh, underscore std mibs now everything gets expanded except this mib2 so we need to come down here and expand this and here we can see the system right the system and under system we can see the system name we need to click on that and what is the operation it's get because we are just getting the uh, router name because in the requirement is just to get the router name right we are not changing anything so the operation should be get right so select that and press go and we can here see the router the name is router itself we haven't changed anything so this is how you would get the router information so what we did we first configure everything and provided the read and write permission here on the router so those were the first things we did uh, so in order to get the router information from the manager we had to do that so we went to the router and we put this commands snmb server community and we provided the string and then we gave read permission for the first requirement the next command we put snmp server community string and we provided the same uh, string then this time we provided both read and write permission because the manager is going to change the router name so we'll see that now we'll go back to this manager and we will change this router name to do that you'll see this operation we need to now change this from get to set because we are now changing get is only for to get something but to do any type of editing we need to change it to set okay now this box will appear the first one just leave it alone don't do anything don't try to redact uh, data type bits we need to select this octet string okay this one when value just means whatever the router name we like to give so we just say ccna or uk router uk underscore router just the router name that's all it this value means now just click OK here and then click on go as soon as I click on go the router name has been changed this is the view from the manager now if we go back to the router uh, exit now you can see here also it has changed So this is how you would use this SNMB protocol to manage uh, the devices from uh, a server and make this server the manager so that the network admins can manage or monitor everything from that server. So this is one of the examples we saw today and we can do so many things with this uh, protocol and uh, hopefully you understood the concept practice this well very easy right it's not that bad at all the concept is clear right because it is a protocol 
used to manage and monitor. So that's it for this video. Uh, in the next video, we'll see some other concept. I want to go back to DHCP uh, configuration because uh, we didn't do how to exclude addresses. Uh, I missed that part, so I'll show you that in the next video. So practice this. Uh, in the meantime, if you have any questions, you can ask me down below. So until next video, thank you and good day.